In this video, I want to talk about converting curves to geometry, uh, something I use very, very often. So here I have a curve on the screen. And when I say curve, I selected it, highlights everything at one time. And this came from the text inside a feature cam. However, I want to modify and put some little chamfers in different places in this text. It's not quite like I want it. And when it's a, a single curve like this, you can't really modify anything individual on it. So what I'm going to do is select it. And under the Construct menu, there's an option called To Geometry. We'll go ahead and select that. And first of all, all these little dots that you see on the screen are circle centers. They're center points of arcs. So they kind of clutter the screen up. So I'm going to run over here to my modes, my snapping modes, and just turn off circle centers. It really cleans things up. Say OK. So the curve right now is still highlighted on the screen. And since I'm going to modify it, I really don't care to have that curve anymore. So since it's still selected, I'm just going to uh, delete it. So now I have basically lines and arcs on the screen. You can come in here and select an individual thing. So now I'm going to do a little bit of modification. Maybe I'm going to come in and put some, uh, break some edges with some small chamfer. I'm going to say 10,000 chamfer by 10 thousandths down here at the bottom. And then just come in and start maybe snapping in some of these corners. Basically, all I'm really doing is modifying my geometry. Now I want to, so that I can engrave this, I need to put these back into curves. Well, this will kind of show another little feature called merge multiple curves. So curves, as we know it, we could always come in and tell I want to do a closed curve and let it run around the outside and say create, pick the middle and say create and work my way down through. I'm going to undo that. There's a little faster way that if I come to the curve wizard here or the curve option and say curve from curve merge curve next. Now I can just drag a box around everything. Notice the curve 14 name in this case. I'm going to go ahead and say finish. It makes it all into curves, but it's not one big curve like it was when we created the text. So we come over here on the curves and look and see what happened. We have 14, then 14, 1, 14, 2, 14, 3, and so forth. So I'm going to hide the geometry that's still currently under the part, under the letters. Then I'm just going to highlight these curves and just do a simple groove feature. A groove. Next, there's all the curves I pre-selected. I want to start at zero. I want they're just going to be ten thousandths deep with a 0.03125 in mill. Finish. So if we go ahead and simulate this, but you can now see that the little uh, chamfer is kind of hard to tell here because it's the center of the tool, but but basically. My point in this video was to show you how you can take an existing curve, make it into geometry, make some modifications, and then convert it back to a curve, and then continue with your feature.